getting more and more excited and we start slowing and then it was getting faster and faster and faster and faster. faster. <laughs> and we, we, we spoke in Portuñol. <laughs> and then they have been communicating on email um, <clears throat> with their with their ideas. And maybe uh, do you want to talk a little bit about um, what you received and then what you left? Okay, I can start. Uh, when I I saw Paquito, I talked to Paquito for the first time. Uh, we agreed that he. He would send me um, a small uh, part of the, the, the piece he was, he was composing already. And, and he uh, sent this, uh, this music. Uh, I really fall in love with it. Wow, what's that? And uh, I, I called him after this and said, oh, go ahead. It's, uh, I have nothing to do. To, to, to say about only go ahead do what you you, you do most most better <laughs> well as I said before I am so glad that we, that we, I, I work with Brazilian very often you know we have a link in common many other black beans you know. <laughs> 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 and then I, I wrote this piece of seven seven minutes and I, I I really liked the, the piece, and, uh, but it was too short. And, and, they, and, and I even asked for permission from the, the people who asked me to write this piece if I can use the theme and extend it. And they say, yeah, go for it. It's, because it's, it's a fantastic uh, group of dancers, and he's a great uh, choreographer. I, I, I would like to span this piece. And then the seventh piece became a 27 minute yeah. piece. I have too much movements. Most of them are based in, uh, in Afro-Cuban music, mixed with classical elements, and uh, I, I, I am very happy with the result because I, I, I wrote that with so much love. And what I saw today in the rehearsal, I didn't know they can do so much dancing with my music. So thank you very much. Thank you. Once, once more, I love what Brazilian do with my music. Um, we started work with Rodrigo on November 29th, so today yep. is like the 11th day or something. Uh, yeah. And he's only got about eight minutes left, something like that. Eight yes, or nine minutes yeah. left to choreograph. Um, and he's waiting to hear the real thing because he told them there would be different sounds in the real recording. Well, so maybe we can thanks, to te thanks to technology, nowadays we can send demos of more or less of what I call plastic instruments. <laughs> so some of them are pretty accurate, but we finished recording the real stuff yesterday, and we are very happy of uh, what we have. Is a, is a, we have a wonderful trio of percussion that, that is very important in the Afro-Cuban music. So uh, I, I think what we have now is, is going to be really inspirational for you and for the Brazilians, I mean for the dancers, to, uh, to finish the work, which is pretty impressive already. I, I wonder how they can memorize all that. <laughs> I was the rehearsal there. I said, we have only 17 minutes, no? We have only 17 minutes, and we do all that thing, and we hear the code there. <laughs> and then when they finish, this, how they can memorize all that? I can't remember what I have today for breakfast. <laughs> and they memorize all that, and they, they, they did a wonderful, wonderful job. Next time I want to be a dancer, I think. So we have to finish up. The, we're, we're in preliminary. For those of you who don't know, uh, choreography is the one art form where the creator has to have time, space, and people to create. No matter what's in your own head, it's, it's translating that vision into other bodies, which is, can be sometimes a struggle, um, sometimes very fluid. The more you know people, the easier it is, of course. Um, if Rodrigo's working with his own company for years, they know what he wants and they can intuit that. Um, with our company, uh, it's different because we're, we're trained differently than Rodrigo's company, but, but the spirit is really in, and the company is, is it's a great growing opportunity for us to extend our own uh, boundaries. Uh, 
And yes, what you saw is impressive, but we think it will be 10 times so by the time we finish the graphics group at Rio. Because once he sketches the end thing, he has to look at what he meant. He has to refine it. He has to go back. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a very different process. And when you know your body changes every day, um, you're, I don't know, does the clarinet change every day? You have to work on the reed. So the how is that for a musician? The clarinet, you know, it's an instrument that you, you it's a symbol in five parts. <laughs> uh, the great Frank West say he hated the clarinet. He do not want to play that instrument. And, and he say, the clarinet was invented by five men that never met. <laughs> and yes, I'd say it's a, it's a female instrument. You have to be very careful. You never know what she is thinking. <laughs> no, but, but it's a beautiful instrument, like a lady. The clarinet is like a kind of temperamental lady. Ah. <laughs> Like a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> but we also, um, our environment changes as we dance and we perform. We were talking about adapting what we were going to do here today for this space, which is about three times smaller than where we're rehearsing. Um, so we have to constantly be processing the material. And did you want to add anything about that process for yourself? It's very interesting uh, when I work with another company because no, 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 uh, people know me very well and I, I know the age dancer very well. So when I arrived, arrived here, I, I didn't know who was who. Right? And I started working and you, I, I, I went uh, founding what kind of thing uh, each dancer can uh, give me more, you know? How to use uh, uh, each one of them. And I, I always love to work in, uh, in a, uh, I think I cannot say no, a democratic way, you know? I work with everybody and uh, there is no one uh, first dancer, uh, Primo Bailarino, no, and uh, I try to use, to use all of the, the, the whole company as a as, as company, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do, and they, they are giving me a fantastic, a really fantastic answers, much, much better than I could uh, wait for. <laughs> talking about this a little bit earlier uh, today because um, uh, Prince Jose's work is built on the, on, the, on the community as group of corporates. When you see Rodrigo's company, you see a community of people. They're all diverse. They all have different qualities and, and strengths. And yet each one speaks and, and can be part of that group. And because of the kind of work we do, which stylistically is different and thematically uh, bridges other uh, areas of exploration. Uh, our main training is to find each person speaking as their own instrument um, and also to be part of the uh, community and that we rely on each other. So I think um, maybe that helped the process for you because that yes. was already, yeah. that's already what we practice. Um, we don't have we, yes, we have senior dancers who have been with us longer, but as a group, everybody everybody is part of the community. Everybody's contributing. It's like, like an orchestra, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a, a, an orchestra. Sometimes when you have prima donnas in the orchestra, <laughs> the orchestra doesn't necessarily sound better. It sounds mm -hmm. worse. Because sometimes this prima donna is playing the third trumpet, and you, you hear the third boy on top of everybody, and that's not the idea. The idea is to, that, that community mm -hmm. mentality to make a, a company great and an orchestra great. 